Same like. Hey, Sean, what's up? New Zealand Hop Week. Yeah, it's one of those things. New Zealand and Oceania in general, all yeah. awesome hops. All awesome hops. Um, so what we're gonna do this week is um, we're gonna do. I guess this is gonna be the first one. Um, we're gonna do um, all the New Zealand Hop Week beers that the boys at FLX sent us. So thank you guys for sending us a bunch of these. So essentially, the other half did a bunch of New Zealand hop beers um, dispersed throughout all their different breweries. This one, Blue Tab, is from their uh, Rochester, New York brewery. Thanks to Dan for uh, letting us know that. You impressed that I remembered? <laughs> um, this is a Kohatu hop, double Kohatu chroma, double dry hopped IPA. I forget what the chroma part means, but I remembered to look up the hop and I remembered to look up what the, what the, the tab meant. So two, two, for, two for three, two for three. Uh, Chroma may be single hop. I think since I think Chroma is their like single hop series. I think it means it's a uh, it's a beer that's uh, the Chroma Key is a fan of. I love Chroma Key. I know, so I brought that up. I don't know how much to fill on this these glasses. These hop butcher glasses are awesome. I feel like Matt from Massive Beer Reviews. You know. Yeah. go cool so yeah these glasses are awesome because you can really give a good swirl really you know? get a good nose too so um it's vaguely opaque it almost looks like pineapple juice yeah you know it actually does look very much like it look, look, looks more like hazy pineapple juice yeah, yeah. very light eight and a half percent yeah got some alcohol eggs the head kind of went away very quickly very quickly good nose Let's do it oh it's like a lot of like Tropical fruits and melon. It's very much a lot of melon, a lot of over ripened fruit. I'm getting almost I'm getting almost like that that treehouse bubblegummy yeast vibe. A little bit, yeah. I love these glasses. You get such a big nose. Yeah, it's a different type of nose yeah. too. Yeah. Um Yeah, but it's it's soft, it's melony, it's got like um a little bit of like um um like some lime zest. Yeah. Like lemon. It's fantastic. Oh, I suppose this smells awesome. <laughs> Love it. Want to taste? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's interesting. Wow. That's unfamiliar. Yeah. I like unfamiliar though sometimes. Yeah, um, it, it's interesting. It, it, it's light. It's sort of, it, it's a lot of melon to me. Yeah. A lot. Like a honey, honeydew and stuff. Big time. Um, but you, you do get like sort of like, like lime and lemon zest. Um, um, but the, the bitterness is interesting. It's, it's a little pithy, a little, um, uh, yeah, the description said like it adds, it adds like a, a piney bitterness to, to the beer and it had, it's supposed to like up the aromatics. It's not as fruity as, um, Wahidi, or uh, that's how I'm pronouncing it. But, um, but this is very interesting. That melon character, I've never had a, a hop so melon forward. Yeah. Or if I have. Maybe it's just never been um, in a single hop beer where that's the, the more forward profile of the of the hop, but yeah, I mean it's very very melon forward, very interesting. Yeah, um, very pleasant, very light, very easy drinking. Yeah, what's Does the ABV? Eight and a half. This drinks five percent. Yeah, it's very light too. Like like the mouthfeel, it's light, it's effervescent, but it's just like, and then once you're done, it just kind of gone. Gone. You just want to keep drinking more, but at yeah. eight and a half percent. Sorry, 8.2%. Yeah, very drinkable. I mean, very drinkable. Yeah. Um, and not your typical New England style IPA. No. I approve. Yeah, this is this is really, really good. I wonder what the hop build, the hop build is really clean. Well, yeah, if it's one hop, I guess, right? Like. Oh, no, sorry, the, the malt build. The malt build, that's what I figured you'd get. Yeah, the yeah. yeah, malt build is very clean. Yeah. Well, I like it. I, I would imagine since I, I'm pretty sure that their Chroma is their single hop series, that they probably want to make that like a super clean malt build. Um, and there still is like some some yeasty characteristics like yeah. n near the mid palate that yeah. could, give you a little bit of like a little bit of greenness a little bit but, um, yeah but, but the thing is like like i like how like how crisp like everything it's just crisp yeah. it's easy it's drinkable um it, it, and it, and you do get some of that malt but it doesn't come through in a way that's invasive it's not mm. it, it is a, like a blank canvas it is very much like like very crackery you know it's really, I mean, wow. Um, it, the hop is not my favorite hop I've ever had, but I am very interested in seeing what people can do with this. Yeah, like for a single hop IPA, I'm really glad I got to try it. And it feels like 
other half knows what they're doing with this. Like, I would love to see this in other in other beers, like to see what it can accentuate in, in other hops and other, yeah. other multi hop beers. Uh, but I, I wonder, like, I'm wondering how this could color a lot of things, and yeah. I'm excited to see what, how that comes through yeah. later because it's not a hop I'm, I'm in, uh, intimately familiar with. But I've never, I don't know if I've ever had a hop the taste ball of the nose so much. Oh, it's, it's like yeah, it does. point, right? Yeah. But I think that happens sometimes with, with single hop beers. Mm -hmm. It's a little more, it's easier because you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is. I love it. This is fantastic. Um, Dan and Mike, dude, thank you. And um, if you guys haven't already checked out FLX Beer Reviews, we'll, we'll link to them probably like right here. Click on that link, go to their channel, subscribe to them, watch their videos. They're awesome. They they just did a video of um, another other half New Zealand week beer. I think it was Ruwaka. No, all no Ruwaka and, and Motueka. It was really good. And then Mike and I also did um, for all Motueka everything. It was fantastic as well. So go, go check those out. And then nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you're probably posting videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this, this is NerdSense. Nerd